Padawans, it's Mrs. Angel with your lesson for today on an intro to the solving equations tools. So the first tool we're pretty familiar with, we call it property of equality, or P-O-E, or PO for short. We know them as APO, MPO, DPO, SPO, etc. But those are not the only tools in this solving equations toolbox. We also have a tool called the distributive property or DP for short. That's a tool that we use on only one side of the equation. We also have another tool called combining like terms, or CLT for short, which again is a tool that we only use on one side of the equation. So before we get into solving equations with these tools, we're just going to spend a little bit of time going over the two new tools in our toolbox distributive property, and combine like terms. So let's talk about how to use the distributive property. The distributive property is used when you have a coefficient outside of a group, and our goal here is to essentially break up that group, get rid of that group, and free up our constant that's inside. The distributive property allows us to do just that. So distribute means to multiply everything that's inside the group by whatever is outside the group. So four is outside the group, we're gonna multiply four by the three X, and we're gonna multiply four by the five, and we're also going to maintain the structure of the group, meaning we're gonna keep this as subtraction. Now from here, we're just going to simplify. Four times three X is 12 X, and four times five is 20, and this stayed a difference, so we're going to keep it as a difference. So what did we just accomplish? Now our constant, which used to be stuck inside the group, has now broken free outside of the group, meaning if this were an equation, we could now use things like a pose. As for what we're doing right now, since we're only dealing with expressions, we are done, we achieved our goal, the constant is free. So before we go over the second example, I want you to try. Go ahead and apply distributive property to this expression now. How did you do? I multiplied 5 by 2x and 5 by 7 and ended up with 10x plus 35. Now my constant is free from the group. I know that I've achieved my goal and we're done. The process in example 2 is the same as the process in example 1, but negatives make things a little more challenging. So again, my goal is to break my constant out of the group using that distributive property. So I'm going to multiply negative 4 times 3x, and I'm multiplying negative 4 times 5, and again, I'm maintaining the structure of the expression. Since it's a difference, I'm keeping it as a difference. So negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x, minus negative 4 times 20 is negative 20. Well, my constant is broken free but we don't like to leave things with subtracting a negative. That's icky, we don't like that in math. So now we're gonna rewrite this as our equivalent expression, negative 12x plus 20. My constant is broken free, I don't have any double negatives or subtracting negatives, so I've achieved my goal and applied the distributive property. So now you can try number two, go ahead and simplify with the distributive property on your own now. How did you do? Negative five times two X is negative 10 X. Negative five times seven is negative 35. And again, adding a negative can be written as subtraction. So simplified, we have negative 10 X minus 35. My constant is broken out of the group, so I have achieved my goal. Now let's move on to our second tool, combining like terms. The word combine in math means to add. And remember, like terms, are terms that have either the same variable or terms that are constants. In other words, you could never combine a constant with a variable term. Those are not alike. However, you can combine variable terms with other variable terms and constants with other constants. So let's take a look at here at example one. The goal with combine like terms is not the same as the goal with distributive property. The goal here is to get it down to two terms maximum, one variable term and one constant. So if we look here at example one, I see three terms. I've got two variable terms, 4x 
and a positive 5x, and I see one constant here, negative 5. So to achieve my goal, I'm going to combine those two variable terms into 1. So I'm going to take my 4x, combine it with my 5x, and then my constant is still in the expression, but it's not affected. So what's 4x's plus 5 more x's? That would be a total of 9x's, and my constant is still negative 5. I've achieved my goal. I have one variable term and one constant. So I have simplified this expression using combined like terms correctly. Go ahead and attempt you try number one. Remember, you want one variable term and one constant. How did you do? I was able to combine my negative 9x with my positive 7x into a single term of negative 2x, and my constant is not affected. So if you have negative 2x plus 6, great job. For example two, we're going to start with the same thing. We have two variable terms. We need to get it down to one. The difference here is that one of my variable terms is still 4x, but the other is a negative 5x. When you see subtraction, you have to think to yourself, that term is negative. So when I go to combine, which again, combine means to add, I have to keep in mind that that is a negative term. So I'm going to take 4x and add it to negative 5x. And again, in this case, my constant is still not affected. 4x plus negative 5x is negative 1x. Bring along my constant, and I have achieved my goal. I have one variable term and one constant, negative 1x minus 5. Your turn again. Try to simplify you try number 2. Again, your goal is to get one variable term and one constant. How did you do? I was able to combine my negative 9x and add it to my negative 7x for a total of negative 16x, and my constant was not affected. But I did achieve my goal. I have one variable term and one constant, so this expression is done. For our mixed practice, I included a mixture of distributive property and combined like terms. Let's remember our goal. With distributive property, our goal is to get the constant out of the group. So we want to get these constants out of the group by multiplying them from what's outside. With combined like terms, our goal is to get it down to one variable term and one constant. So go ahead and try these four problems on your own now. Let's start with number one. I used distributive property and I multiplied four by six x and two. And by doing so, I ended up with 24 x plus eight and achieved my goal. My constant is broken free, and I'm done with all the math that I can do. Number two is a little different. We had to combine like terms here, and in this case, I had two variable terms and two constants, and I needed to get down to one variable term and one constant. So I combined negative 5x and 2x to get negative 3x, and I combined my constants of 4 and 2 into one constant of 6. So I have one variable term and one constant, so my goal was achieved. For number three, I used the distributive property, but be careful, there was a negative involved. I multiplied negative five by five x and negative five by two and ended up with negative 25 x and negative 10. But remember, if that second term is negative, we wanna change it and adding a negative is equivalent to subtraction. So my constant is free and I have achieved my goal. Number four is a little weird, so we're gonna go over this one together. What I notice in number four is that we have part of this expression requires distributing, but then we also have this constant that's outside of the group, meaning it's not going to be part of our distributing. So here's how we're gonna start. I wanna combine this constant with this one, but this constant inside the group is trapped and we need to break it free with the distributive property. So that is how we will start. Six times negative six V plus six times seven. And don't forget that constant's gonna come along for the ride, we're just not using it yet. That's negative 36 V plus 42. And of course, I also have my constant of seven. 
So I've achieved my first goal. My constant is free. Now I can go in and combine like terms because now my goal is to get one variable term and one constant. Yes, I only have one variable term, but right now I have two constants and I need to combine that down into one. So I still have my variable term, negative 36V, but 42 and seven, that can combine into a single term of 49. So my constant is free and I have one variable and one constant. I have achieved my goal and this expression is done. So to quickly recap, when we use these tools, the goal of the distributive property is to free the constant, get it out of that group and make it its own term. However, the goal for combining like terms is to combine them so we have one variable term and one constant. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.